Today I'm going to demonstrate how to estimate the uh, area of a floor plan, of a home's floor plan. So uh, I'm logged in to Sketch and Calc as a, a pro user and I'm going to select the import image feature. I'm going to uh, browse my file system and find my, in this case, GIF image. I'm going to open that and upload it. Uh, I'm going to reposition it on the screen using the plus arrows, the plus and minus keys and the up and down arrows to position it and then I'm going to begin to uh, to trace around the image. Now before I do that I'm going to set my scale to uh, 1 square equals 50 centimeters and then I'm just going to proceed to start uh, laying down points tracing over the top of the image. Now, as I approach the beginning of the shape where I started to draw, um, I will close the shape, and in doing so, the image, uh, sorry, the uh, area and perimeter results are displayed in the bottom right-hand corner here. And you can see that uh, in this case, uh, we've got a, a total area of 566 square meters. Now, um, in this particular case, I know that um, this line here, or this wall here, is actually um, 3 meters 70. So I'm just going to uh, adjust the scale in the top right hand corner here in the, in the toolbar to match or approximately match the length of that wall so that uh, you notice that all of the walls update the length of those. So now that gives me 368, that's 374. Okay, so that's quite close. I'm going to use my cursor keys to select the point and uh, just adjust it so that it better represents the uh, the image and um, that gives us uh, 3.7 meters for the length of that so that gives me uh, a very uh, accurate representation of uh, this home's floor plan and I can continue just to tweak um, the vertices if I want to uh, get things to snap to grid I can double click the, uh, the vertices and that will give me exact right angles um, which is very very helpful if you're dealing with sort of square objects um, and that will give me a nice accurate uh, reading of uh, 842 square meters